All right, congratulations. You guys killed it. How do you guys feel about everything? Yeah, we feel pretty good, I guess. Yeah. Feeling great, feeling great. Thank you. Yes, very good. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so where did you guys meet? Um, well, um, Nick and I met because we had school together. We did. So we were putting a bunch of projects together, and then I started going to Jazz 2, and he was in that ensemble. I was like, ah, oh, maybe we should start a band. So we started playing together like two years ago. And um, we had a guitarist with us, too, but he had to take his MCATs. So the moment we signed up for, um, uh, what is this, Battle of the Bands? Yeah, that's it. He was like, peace out. Um, I have to go study for my MCATs, which was very sad because it would have been fun to play with him. But I guess there's always next year. So we scrambled to find people. We went through like two other guitarists, and then we found Eric on keys. Um, which I'm very thankful he came in and played with us. So yeah, great. Well, Eric killed it on the keys. So congratulations on that. Um, yeah. He's a he's a he's a little uh, little musician. Okay, I think we all are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <I don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, what would you guys say is uh, one inspiration as an artist to you guys? I, I guess we can go one by one. Yeah. Um, I guess my greatest uh, artist inspiration is James Blake. I really like what he does with electronic music. He does ballads. He does really cool stuff. And uh, I try to incorporate that in my musical thinking as much as I can. I haven't decided um, yet. All right. I'll go with Herbie Hancock, jazz funk legend. Um, and he's, ki he's killed it for a while. So yeah. great music. Yeah. We go with uh, 645 AR. He's pretty new. You might not have heard of him, but he's got some groovy tunes, man. Um, maybe like Shmino, too. His bass lines are very funky, and I really enjoy them. They're both rappers, though. I wish I could rap, but it's just not in the cards. Right, so you guys are, you know, getting from every <laughs> genre and everything. That's yeah. what's really nice. Yeah. And uh, so what are your next, next steps as a band? Do you guys have any, any thoughts? Um, we were thinking about um, recording a studio album maybe in the summer. We have enough original music to do it. 
We just need to wait for Saleh, our guitarist, to get back um, from studying for his MCATs. So whenever that's over, just uh, let us know, please. <laughs> all right. Well, you know. Um, all right. And so one last question for you guys. What's um, you guys, Why'd you guys pick uh, the second song with the ukulele? Uh, what was your inspiration for it, and why did you want to play it here and today? Um, well, since we... It really sounds like I hate Saleh here, but, like, it's just because he wasn't here. <laughs> like, um, we didn't have a guitarist, obviously, so we could afford to go with some softer aesthetics for this, uh, this sort of performance. And it's not live, so it doesn't really have to be that high energy. So we figured like a nice like NPR tiny desk vibe would be kind of cool. You know, do any of you guys have any thoughts? I really like the song that he wrote, so uh, I said we should do it too. Yeah. Yeah. That was all Aiden, that Uke song, so. Well, geez, you guys are gassing me up. Well, the, the <laughs> song after that was all Eric, so. <laughs> all right, nice, well, congratulations, and I hope you guys, um, I hope, I wish you luck with everything. Yeah, yeah thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Vote for Weighted Blanket. Thank you.